Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. With only three fantasy armies left to be updated, and with armies getting updated from the End Times books, surely new Skaven stuff is just around the corner. I know I've been saying it for the last few months, but it has to be soon, and with the rumours coming around, it sounds like it could be them. So what I've decided to do is make a list of five things that I'd like to see in a new Skaven army book. Now these are just my opinions on it, and it's more kind of what I'd like to see than what's practical for the army. So make sure you leave your own opinions and uh, whatever you'd like to see for your army update in the comment section below. So with that said, let's get onto the list. Alright, so the first one is that I'd like to see, I'd like to see a new Greyseer model. Uh, not that the old one is bad, but I was, I've been using the Greyseer from the Screaming Bell kit. And it's awesome. It's really nice, and um, it's a lot nicer than the old metal one that's out now. And I'm sure this is going to be one of the things that's definitely going to be updated when a new release uh, for Skaven does come out. Um, the the grey seer or the grey seer from the Screaming Bell is more kind of up to date. It doesn't show its age. The other one, the metal one that's out now for grey seer, I, I'm pretty sure there's only one. Um, it does show its age, like the rest of them. Um, even multiple gracers if you can get like ones that you have like the empire wizards where you can give them like different claws different weapons there's like different bits to come with it that's really awesome all right so number two i'd like to see a storm vermin character now the storm vermin are pretty awesome they're like the badass version of skaven and for like for someone to like rise to the skaven ranks which is like full of backstabbing and treachery and to become a storm vermin is kind of like a big thing you get Decent armor, you get good hand weapons, and uh, I think you can even get like a magic banner um, in that unit. So to have like a special character stick out from that unit, instead of just making up your own, have like an official one with rules and everything, it'd be pretty awesome. Like a named character, and he doesn't have to be like a hero or a lord, just make it like he's an upgrade for your unit. Uh, you bring this guy, you get the unit gets like some weapon or whatever they want to do. Just a special character for the storm, I think they deserve it. Number three, I'd like to see the Warblog Jezels, or Jezels, I don't know how it's pronounced. I'd like to see them come out in plastic. Because um, currently, the ones that are out now, you get three of them for 41 euro, which is like really pricey, even for a games workshop. So, uh, like the, they're all kind of looking models, but they're still nice looking. But three of them for 41 euro is really a bit much. I think they're resin now, I think they got updated to that. So I don't know whether they're going to bring out new models for that. I really hope they do, because they have a lot of ideas for conversion work in it. And plus, they're meant to be like pretty awesome in the game. Pretty good to use. Because um, the Skaven aren't really known for shooting. But these like they have big long barrel guns that like, look pretty awesome. And they're on top of like a shield. There's a guy holding the shield up and everything. Um, like The conversion ideas from it is awesome. I'd love to get a unit of these, but it's just too pricey for three models really for that size. And plus it's resin, I'm not going to pay for resin. So definitely, Warp Lock Jezels. I think they could upgrade it to like a 5 in a pack. Um, yeah, like multiple parts, all that kind of stuff. You can change it whatever you want. So uh, plastic Warp Lock Jezels for definite. So coming in at number 4, this is something that I would love to see. But you're probably not going to see it. It's Skaven Mounts. Um, you have the Orcs and Goblins, they have the Spider Riders. The Goblins have to go out on boars. Uh, the ogres they can go on. Oh, what are them guys called? Mornfang. Um, uh, some armies have like chaffrey have like wolves, like mounts. Some guys have horses and all that in armies. Um, so what about the Skaven? I know one of the upgrades you can get is a great pox rat. I think where they get to ride around on it. But how awesome would it be to see like a unit of five Skaven guys riding around on giant rats? Now giant rats are in the Skaven book, but I'm talking like. Big giant rats, so they can actually sit on them and ride around, have fast attack, fast cavalry for Skaven riding around on giant rats. It'd be awesome. I'd really like to see that. I think it'd be a nice addition to the army, and it'll bring something definitely different to the army. And um, you know, if goblins can go around on spiders, why can't Skaven go around on rats? Like it kind of seems a bit natural. And um, that's something like that's that's a, like a wish list thing. I don't think it will happen. But I would love to see it. It sounds pretty awesome. 
and it would fit in with that army definitely. So number five, the final one, this is the one that I want to see the absolute most and I think this is the one that's most likely going to happen as well. Number five is I want to see some love for Clan Eshin. That is the assassin kind of clan where you have like your assassins, you have your night runners and you have your gutter runners. Um, like the assassin models, they're kind of a little bit old but they're still nice looking. Um, you can get one with like two blades with throwing stars and everything. They're still nice looking. Um, the gutter runners and night runners are terrible. The box of night runners I had, like their arms are oversized, their hands are like that size compared to the head they're way too fucking big. Um, they're really outdated. I think they were for like a Mordheim team skirmish game. So maybe that's why they're shorter edge a little bit. But for like the fluff for Clan Nation is awesome. Like they're assassins. Who doesn't love assassins? Like they're scaven that go around look like looking like Batman. Which is what the assassins look like. You know, you can give them like do them as a skirmish unit with the night runners or the gutter runners that is, and the night runners are more like the sneaky guys that can um advance forward before anyone else does. Um you know, it, and even the special rules could be good. Like, you know, if you had like your assassin, you can give him like a glide special rule, or if he came off like a wall or anything, he could move a little bit further, all that kind of stuff. I think the the conversions could be endless with this. I really think Clan Action needs to really, really get some love, and I think it will in the next update. Um, with the Nagash End Times book, there was mention of a Skaven assassin in one of the tombs. I can't really remember what it was too much. I don't have the book, I just listened to reviews on it. So, like, he was in one of the tombs and I don't know whether he escaped or not. Like, even if, like, if anyone from the Skaven's getting mentioned and, and it's an assassin, that's surely a good sign for them getting updated. So definitely, I'd like to see assassins get a little bit of love at least. Let's hope so. Okay guys, so if you like my opinions on what the Skaven should get for an army update, make sure you hit the like button below. And um, if you want to see my last video where I talked about trying to get over a hobby slump and checking out a really great website. Oh, wrong way. Make sure to check out the link here and down below. And um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't and look forward to getting some feedback on this. So make sure you leave your comment, your own opinions and everything like that in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.